What's going on guys, Rory Goddard here. Thank you so much for tuning in. In this video, what I'm gonna be doing is running you through a step-by-step -step the process that you need to follow in order to set up your very own affiliate marketing website. Now I'm gonna be showing you, going through this step-by-step -step, as I said, so be sure to pay attention the whole way through. Don't skip ahead because if you miss any of the steps, it's gonna make it very difficult for you to set up your affiliate marketing website correctly. Now, if you watch this video all the way to the end, then I'm also gonna give you access to a 100% free training on, on affiliate marketing, showing you some additional advanced strategies to really make affiliate marketing work, to, to scale up to, to a full-time income. So if you're interested in that, be sure to hang around to the end and I'll, and I'll show you how you can get access to that. Uh, with that being said, let's get straight into the content. All right guys, so I'm assuming that you are a beginner affiliate marketer. You're only just getting into affiliate marketing. And in that case, the very first step to setting up your affiliate marketing website is to choose a niche. So you want to identify a particular demographic of people who have similar problems, challenges, or goals that they're trying to either overcome or achieve. And that's who you're going to be recommending products to. So um, the reason why this is really important is because one of the main challenges with affiliate marketing is is generating leads or generating traffic getting your the products that you're offering out to the people who need it uh, and really the best way to do that is to build a relationship with the people and to um, form a connection with people and, and you can't really do that if you're mar if you're the content that you're creating on your website isn't directed to a particular um, demographic of people or to, to helping people solve particular problems or achieve particular goals. If, if your content is all over the place, then you don't really build that level of trust, level of, um, you know, you don't really connect with the client enough for them to feel comfortable purchasing from you. But if you, uh, if all of your content is consistent and it's targeted towards the same type of people, then you build that level of trust, you know, they get to know you a little bit better and, and in the end they'll feel more comfortable knowing that you actually have the, the knowledge and understanding to help them with what they're trying to achieve and therefore they're more likely going to uh, go off your recommendations and purchase the, the products that you're recommending. So that's one of the main reasons why it's important. Um, in terms of like choosing a niche, you know, obviously there are niches out there that are, you know, more in demand and potentially more profitable than others. So for example, the health, the money and the relationships niche, they're probably the biggest niches out there. You know, they're the most in demand and the most profitable. However, when you're going to choose your niche, the one thing that I will say is that, you know, while these are the, probably the most profitable niches, all niches are profitable. So you can make you can make money within any niche. And the most important thing, guys, is to find a niche that you're at least interested in, ideally something that you're passionate about. The reason being is because, like I said earlier, you're, you're going to... Um, in order to really be successful with affiliate marketing, you need to be able to build relationships with people, build trust, um, you know, show them that you understand where they're coming from. And, and if you're not, you know, at least interested in that area or not passionate about uh, whatever it is, whatever target audience you're going for, then it's going to not only be hard for you to create content because it's not really going to be something that you, you know, you're interested in and, and therefore creating content is going to be a real hassle. And secondly, you, you're not going to be able to connect as well with your target audience and you, it's going to be harder for you to build that level of trust with them so they feel comfortable purchasing from you. So choose a niche that you're at least interested in learning more about and, and getting involved in yourself uh, and ideally something that you're passionate about. So yeah, that's basically step one uh, of, of um, setting up your affiliate marketing website. As I talked about earlier in regards to um, the, the free training that, I, that I'm going to offer you at the end, that's something that we go into a lot more detail in that as well about how to choose the right niche for you. Um, but let's move on to step two now. All right, step number two, guys, is to register a domain name and, and purchase hosting. So... In relation to the, the domain name, uh, obviously you're going to want to create a domain name or think of a domain name that is either related to your 
niche or target audience or potentially it might be uh, you know you could use your name or something it really depends on what your niche is and, and what you want your website to be about uh, but obviously you want to come up with something that's um, you know relates is related to what you're, you're going to be doing and, and then you need to see if it's available and and obviously um, register it now before you do that I want to talk about hosting because we're going to do these two together uh, so web hosting if you're not sure what that is essentially it's just like uh, a place where all of your inf website information is stored so that people can actually access the content online now you know where you get your hosting from really you know determines how fast your um, website loads and things like that so it really is important to get quality hosting now the place where I recommend you get hosting is uh, Bluehost so one of the reasons why I recommend Bluehost is because they are a quality and reliable hosting provider and not only that you can actually get your first year's registration of your domain name free so let's take a look on the screen here so if you just go to bluehost.com, uh, what I'm going to be recommending, guys, is that you get uh, WordPress as your um, content management soft, uh, system. So essentially, WordPress is a, a content management system where it actually allows you to mm, edit and modify all of the content on your website easily. And I do recommend web, WordPress because it's you know it's the most well used, and there's reason for that. It, it is the best content. Uh, management system out there so um, when you go to bluehost.com you will set it up through WordPress link up here WordPress hosting and what that's going to do is it's just going to make that process of installing WordPress into your um, hosting a lot easier easier it's going to do it automatically basically so once you go into here you're going to go to um, you, once you click on web WordPress hosting you're going to then choose a plan uh, now uh, what I recommend is just that you start off with the, the basic plan. I mean, unless you're intending to uh, create multiple website the websites, then you might do the, the plus plan. But, uh, you know, the, the basic plan provides you with everything you need if you're just starting with that one web website. So you're going to click on that. And as you can see, this is in Australian dollars. And um, that price actually is for that they're showing. So it's from... Four dollars twenty-seven, which I think is around three dollars ninety-nine US. Um, that's if you purchase upfront for three years, I think it is. But I'll show you the pricing a little later. Um, so when you get to this next step, uh, obviously this is where you're going to choose your don 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 name domain name and register it. So um, you do a quick search and see if it's available, and then obviously um, if it is available, that's great. You can get it for free for the first year through Bluehost or, or potentially you might need to try another domain name. If you already have one, you can enter it in here or if you hang out on this page long enough, which I hope we'll get to soon, it will actually come up with a pop-up where you can choose to choose your domain name uh, a little further down the track. So if you haven't quite figured out what you want your domain name to be, um, you, can, you can do that option as well. So here it is here. So if you just go choose domain, free domain later. So we'll click on that one for, for the purposes of this video because I'm not actually going to be setting up anything today. I just want to show you exactly what you need to do. So the next thing is just to create your account. So you'll just go through and fill in your, your personal details, um, choosing the plan. So like I said, that price there, that $4.21 per month is if you pay up front for um, the 36 months or three years and then you can see the price goes up when you're paying for um, a less amount of time so if you're committed to this business guys and I do recommend uh, that that uh, three month 36 month option because obviously it's it's the best uh, best price in and for value for money um, so you know that only comes to $150 Australian which I think is around maybe $110 US for a whole three years of, of domain of um, hosting registration. <clears throat> uh, you can go ahead and, and just unclick these because uh, there's a lot of free um, plugins that you can get for WordPress that, that do the some of these things. So you don't need to worry about any of that. And then obviously just your payment details and then verify and submit.
and then uh, you'll have set up your, your hosting. So like I said, guys, by going through the steps that we've gone through so far and, and going through that WordPress link at the top of Bluehost, WordPress is automatically going to be installed into to your website. Uh, now, one of the next steps is to, you know, obviously start to put content into your website, lay it out, structure it the way you want it, you know, choose a specific theme de depending on what you want your website to look like. Um, but before we go into all of that, uh, I want to first discuss uh, choosing what products you're going to be promoting, um, where you're going to be getting those products or services from, because that might, you know, determine what you want your layout to be like and what different themes you want to use for your WordPress um, site. So before we go into that, step number three first will be um, to identify what type of products and services you're going to be using, what affiliate programs are out there that are going to cater for that, uh, the products and services that you want to be able to provide to your niche and, and your target audience. Um, so obviously you've got uh, Amazon, so potentially if you're wanting to sell products through, um, or promote products on, on Amazon, you can, you know, obviously you can go down to the bottom of the Amazon website and sign up to become an affiliate there and get your affiliate links. Um, so if that's something that you wanted to do, then potentially, you know, your website could be based around providing reviews or comparisons and things like that. So there are themes out there that are best suited to that. Uh, you know, if you're you also have things like Clickbank, so if you're not sure um, what Clickbank is, it's basically, how do I get that off? Uh, so it's basically a an affiliate network, so it provides a vast library of different products and services that once you become a member, create an account with, with them, you can promote, you know, any number of different products in, in any number of different uh, niches or categories. So as you can see here, they've got a, a huge library. These are all of the different categories that you can go into and then within each of those categories, they've got subcategories. So you can go in here and, and identify different products and services that you might wanna promote. Um, there's other you know affiliate networks such as JVZoo, which is more about online software and things like this. Uh, same as Warrior Plus. Uh, another one is CJ Affiliate, so it's another one that's a, probably a little more similar to to ClickBank in that it you know it's got a bit more variety in what types of products and services it, it you can promote through there. Um, and then the other thing, guys, is is you you know there's lots of independent businesses out there running their very own affiliate programs. So it's it's really about a, a matter of going out and finding affiliate programs that are going to cater to your um, and and businesses that are providing to affiliate programs that are going to cater for your target audience and and the and help them overcome the product problems and challenges that they're facing or help them achieve their goal. Um, so yeah, just a little idea. So. Um, you know, like I said, depending on which direction you're going to be going on there might depend on how you set up your, your website. So let's take a look at that now. Step number four, setting up the, the look and the, the feel and, and, you know, the, the theme of your, your website, what it actually looks like and uh, how it's all laid out. Now, before I go, go into that, um, when you actually go through that process of installing WordPress, you, you're going to be opted to create your login details, so username and password, and then just in order to log into the back end of your WordPress website, which you can see here on the screen, this is uh, just a, a demo website that I've, I've created, um, you just go to your web, web site URL slash WP dash admin and then that's where you can actually use those login details to log into your back end back end of your um, WordPress site uh, and then we can play around with what it actually looks like so what you're going to want to do is is choose a theme so you'll go down to appearance here on the left sidebar there click on themes and then like I said if you're looking at you know creating like an e-commerce or recommending uh, products from um, from Amazon or eBay or anything like that and you want sort of like a you know an e-commerce store looking uh, website then you can you know type in e-commerce and then you can choose from any number of different uh, themes here you know if you're you're just looking at creating like a blog website and then promoting products through blog form uh, you can go to latest and, and choose a, a blog through there 
uh, theme through there. So really, you know, it's a matter of you having a look around. And then th there's other themes that you can get uh, that uh, allow you to, you know, give star ratings to rate uh, products and, and services if if you wanted to, you know, create your your um, website all about create, you know, providing reviews and things like that. Um, so yeah, it really comes down to what you're wanting to do with your affiliate website and also, um, you know, the products that you're promoting. Now, um, once you've, you've chosen a theme, then obviously there's things that you're gonna need to, to create. So you need to create different pages. So you might have an about page, a home page, um, and then potentially you might have categories of, of products uh, or depending again what you're going to be aiming for here and then another thing that you want to be going to want to be doing is creating posts so this might be uh, this might actually be your product reviews that you're creating or it could be comparisons or it could be um, general content you know teaching give you know providing people with valuable content that it's going to help them get closer to overcoming their problems and the challenges or get them closer to achieving their goals depending on what niche you're in providing them with valuable content within that niche uh, and then directing the customers through your affiliate link to different products that are going to help them um, with all of those things even further. Um, <clears throat> so that's where you create your, your sort of blog posts and things like that. Um, create your pages here. Choose your, your theme and appearances here. Another thing guys is, is plugins. So there's many different plugins that you can get to enhance your website. I'll go into some of those a little later, but one that I'd probably recommend if you're going to do like a, an Amazon affiliate website would be WooCommerce Amazon Affiliate. So um, it makes it really easy to import the descriptions and, and uh, ratings and uh, everything directly from Amazon straight into your WordPress website. So uh, definitely one that I'd consider. You know, if you're wanting a lot more, create, um, if you wanna be able to have a lot more control over the way that your website looks, then I'd recommend getting the, the theme Divi by uh, Elegant Themes. So I'll link to that in the description below. It's basically like a drag and drop functionality where it makes it so much easier for you to have complete control over your website and the way it looks. Um, so yeah, if that's something you're interested in, you can go down and check that out. Uh, but I think that's just about all I need to go through for, for how to actually lay out your your website. It's really about finding the theme that suits you and, and, and suits what you're going to make your affiliate uh, a website all about. Actually, one thing before I move on, I'll, I'll just show you. So if I go to the this website, you know, this is a fairly blank website, but you can see at the top here, you've got the menu bar. So once you've created like your about me, your homepage, um, things like that, you're gonna be wanting them to display up the top. So I just wanna show you how you do that. Uh, so within your WordPress um, backend, you can just go down to menus here and you can create a new menu. So <clears throat> create a new menu, I've just created this one. So I've just called it main menu. And then on the um, left here, so hand side here, you can choose the pages that you want to include uh, into that menu. So if we just add that one into the menu, um, let's just leave it at that for now. And then we'll go down, uh, automatically add new top level page, no, 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 and then save menu. <clears throat> and then, when we go to the home page now, you can see it's changed the menu at the top there. So I uh, just wanted to show you that to make that step really easy for you. Um, and then, yeah, in, in terms of creating the pages, you just go to pages. Um, sorry, I just wanted to point, point this out just to show you that it's, it's not easy. I didn't really go into it. So you just go add new page and then depending on the theme that you're using, um, so if you've got a a theme it'll just create a page based on the theme or if you're using Divi you can create you know lay out that page at exactly how you want name the page um, with the quick edit uh, and then yeah like I said to create put it into the menu you just go down to that menu link there and add it to the menu so that it's showing in that uh, menu bar at the top of your your website <clears throat> All right guys, so step number five, the last step is to generate traffic. So obviously if you're not getting any traffic, if you're not getting any people to your website, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to make any money, any commissions from the, the affiliate products that you're promoting. Now, one of the main ways that you're gonna generate traffic with a website is what through what's called SEO, or search engine optimization. 
So what this means is essentially optimizing your website so that when people out there are actually you know, searching for content that they're looking for on within the search engines such as Google, Bing, Yahoo, your content is going to rank higher within those search engines. Um, that's how you know you're going to get a lot of free traffic to your your website. So the way that you're going to do this is basically be consistent with creating content, valuable pieces of content that your customer are looking for. And the more consistent and and uh, the more you uh, provide valuable content that people actually go through and digest, uh, the more likely you're um, you're going to rank in, in Google. For the content that you're creating, um, you know sometimes it can be pretty challenging at the beginning to um, to start ranking. But like I said, if you play the long game and you stay consistent with this, then um, you know it will work for you. So you just need to be going out there researching what your target audience is looking for in relation to you know what's going to help them overcome their challenges and their what's going to help them you know make an informed decision on which product to buy or you know it depends on what what niche you're in it really determines what type of uh, content you're going to be creating but you really want to learn as much as you can about your niche learn as much as you can about what sort of information they're looking for uh, exactly what they're searching online so one way you can do that is uh, if you go to keywordseverywhere.com, um, as you can see on the screen here, it's just a, an extension you can install onto your web browser. And, and what this will actually do when you start typing different search engine searches or keywords within uh, things like Google and even YouTube and things like that, it'll actually have a drop down and it'll show you how many times those searches are searched per month. So that can give you an idea of you know when you're putting together content it can help to you decide on you know whether it is a good keyword to to try and rank for um, some other things that you want to do to to enhance your chances of ranking in Google are uh, getting some plugins so if you go to plugins on in the back end of your WordPress website one plugin that I recommend is all in one SEO pack so you'll just go to add new here and then once it's uh, you've clicked on that you can just search in all in one SEO pack and that will come up and you can um, download it and then activate it so that it's activated on your account and then when you go into the settings um, there's just a few things you want to do to set this up so that you know Google understands and all the other search engine actually understand what your website is all about so that when people search for different topics in, in relation to what your website is more about Google is gonna know that you're that you know that's what your um, your business is about what your website is about sorry so you want to definitely put in your home title um, you know and potentially have a little um, tagline at the end of your home title uh, in relation to what your niche is. Um, home description, so making sure you put as many keywords uh, in there relating to whatever your niche is or what, whatever um, you know problems you're trying to solve uh, and things like that. Um, home keywords, so putting on. So obviously, this is just a dummy website, but it's. Uh, in relation to health and weight loss and things so um, these are the types of keywords that I've chosen for that uh, obviously it's going to depend on your your niche and target audience uh, and that's really all you need to do for that so you enter in those um, and then come down to the bottom you don't need to change any of those other settings and then just update the options there the other pl plugin that I would recommend um, would be EWWW image optimizer so what that will do is it will help to reduce the file size of things like images and, and videos that you put onto your website so that um, your website loads quicker so uh, Google is less likely to recommend a web page that is slow and sometimes adding images you know they're really good because they um, provide you know uh, you, you know they make your blog post look good they make your website look good um, you can also have links through those those um, uh, pictures that might be helping to promote a product uh, but if they're slowing down your website then Google is less likely going to rank it higher so um, definitely recommend those two plugins um, to help enhance your SEO uh, but other than that it's all about creating const 
uh, consistent, valuable content that's related to your target audience and uh, that you know that they're out there looking for, they, they want this information and uh, if you can provide that to them, you're building a relationship with them, you're showing them that you care and that you have the information, the knowledge, the understanding to uh, be able to promote and, and recommend them the, the best products for them. Um, so yeah, that's what you want to do for generating traffic. You obviously have other means of generating traffic. You know, you could um, use social media. You could use paid advertising through social media. Uh, having a YouTube channel and um, providing content through there, and then either linking directly to your affiliate offers or to your um, your website. All right, guys. So you can see just how easy it is to set up an affiliate marketing website. There really isn't too much to it. But once you do have that affiliate marketing website up, you do want to start to expand your the strategies that you're using to generate income through affiliate marketing. You want to be, you know, go out there and learn what all of the best super affiliates are doing to generate six and seven figure incomes. Now, I can give you a little bit of insight into this now in this video which I will in a, in a moment however if you want to go into this in much more detail and, and really master the art of affiliate marketing then head down into the description below in that it, the first link is a uh, link to a free training series that will help you with all of this it will teach you exactly everything you need to to be successful with affiliate marketing so head down and and, and check that out in the meantime some of the things that that you know you you want to be start to starting to think about with your affiliate marketing is uh, collecting emails so rather than having people visit your site having a look around and then leaving your site without you ever knowing that they were there you want to create a system where you're collecting people's emails so you can follow up with them you know research has shown that it takes up to seven points of contact before people feel content confident and comfortable in handing over their money for something so if you're not um, capturing the people that are actually visiting your site then you're missing out in on a hell of a lot of sales you're missing out on the chance to follow up with them continue pro to provide them content valuable content through email linking them back to the products and services that you're promoting showing them exactly how these products are, are going to help them and why they need them um, and, and really just increasing those points of contact so that they get to know, like, and trust you and feel comfortable in purchasing the products that you're recommending. This is a very important step. Uh, some other things that you might learn in, in the training below, if you do check that out, things like you know creating uh, bonus packages for when they purchase products. So this is really going to provide that extra enticement for them to purchase those products. And, and it, it's much easier than you think to create these bonus packages, but you will learn all of that in, in the, the training program uh, that I've discussed so far. Um, I think that's just about all for this video. I hope you've gotten value from this. If there's anything that you still don't understand about how to set up and, and create your affiliate marketing website, please don't hesitate to head down into the comments and ask away. I will, I will get back to you. Um, if you have gotten value from this video and you want to show your appreciation, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're, you are you really want um, to hear more of this type of content, how to set up affiliate marketing, how to um, get started with affiliate marketing business, um, you know, how to make money online, then hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified when I bring out my next content. Um, other than that, I, again, I hope you enjoyed the content and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.